Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Let's get into some hot topics. Let's go. So we have a Wendy Williams signing. Um, she was out in New York Fashion Week and she had this really long pink fur on and she was holding on to someone. I think she I think she looked okay, but let's get into it. Hold on. Y'all, I don't think we're going to get a podcast from Wendy Williams. They're not talking about it anymore. Um, and she clearly needs help along the way. I just I just like seeing her, and I hope she continues to get well. Let's keep going. Let me tell y'all something. This situation with Mama D, Scrappy, and the Bam, this is crazy. So the Bam has put out a diss song. Hold on. I think I need a vacation. You got me tripping. Rumor has it you outside with hella Gave you children, gave you love, you acting different. So no more love them to this paper from hella mission. I don't know how I feel about the song, right? But I do feel like Bambi has something she needs to get off her chest, right? She's been going through it with Scrappy for a minute. But then Mama D comes out with this. She's talking about congratulations. She doesn't think that people who can't rap needs a rap deal. She said she thinks they need a water deal. Like this is Scrap's mama. Well, Scrappy's mama. Let's get into what he had to say, though. So this was a Valentine's message, right? So Scrap's like, you know, he's a man of God, love who loves you, forgive quickly, and all that. So everything he said, somebody down here said, send this to the BAM. We love y'all together. Fight for your family. Scrap said, nope. Period. Like, I guess it's over for real, for real. Let's keep going. Y'all, the fact that the word wife is in quotations is crazy but kanye west and this woman bianca celebrate valentine's day with russell simmons Ru why so they went and watched the movie infinity pool together and they were um photographed together by the paparazzi last month kanye and this lady bianca had a non-legal wedding ceremony and they have yet to file for their marriage license like, what is Kanye doing? What is going on right now? So Will Smith and Michael B. Jordan are going to do I Am Legend 2. And this time it's going to be an alternate ending because Will Smith is going to come back to life. Did y'all see I Am Legend 1? And are you here for I Am Legend 2? It's your girl Millie Chun. Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Let's get into Hot Topics Part 2. Let's go. So we're back here again. Here's another reality TV star that's going into the big house. Jen Shaw is going in tomorrow, the 17th of February. So I don't know where her headspace is today, but she's going in tomorrow. We don't know where yet for six and a half years. That's crazy. She'll be pretty much like Todd and Julie in a dormitory style housing. So it's not for um, violent criminals. She just stole some money. So there's that. Now, Jen had a request. She wanted to go to uh, a prison camp in Bryan, Texas, a women's facility. But right now, we don't know. Jen could be anywhere in the South Central, like Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma, or New Mexico. So she could be anywhere. Um, I know she is devastated right now. I would be sick. Y'all, Jen will be earning anywhere from $0.12 cents to $1.15 an hour for her jobs. And she could be doing anything going from food service to factory work. If that doesn't humble you, I don't know what will. And real quick, a Chrisley update. Um, Julie's facility does not have air conditioning. Hold on. Um, her prison does not have air conditioning. Now, this menopausal woman would go insane without AC. So, maybe maybe Savannah can get that changed. Y'all can go find this lady on TikTok, right? She also had an update on Todd. She said that Nanny Faye, uh, Lindsay, and her son had gone to see Todd, but they were turned around because they had a big COVID outbreak in the prison. So, she doesn't know when they're going to get to see them. And Todd is gray-headed. Gray. Let's keep going. 
Child, since we're talking about prison, I guess we might as well just keep going. So Peyton Gendron is sentenced to life in prison for unaliving those 10 black people in Buffalo at the supermarket. I think, I think this is fair. I think this is fair. Let's keep going. Ooh, let's, let's balance out. Let's get back to regular stuff. Okay, these are Puffy's girls. Puffy, you've done great. It's time to wrap it up, sir. We don't need any more kids from you, okay? Just because you can do it don't mean you should. But you got beautiful girls. Let's keep going. Oh, P.S. This is love. <laughs> She's so sweet. Rich black babies. I love it. Y'all, I give y'all favorite parts for Valentine's Day. I really hope she's coming to marital medicine. I need a shake up. Let's keep going. Y'all, Giselle and Jason are an item. He's 36. She's 52. He has met the girls. And Giselle says she's having fun. She said that she is taking this one day at a time, as she should. I think that's smart. Y'all, she read in the comments. She said she loves this. Hey, y'all, it's your girl, Millie Chun. And I ain't talked about Big R in a minute. Let's just get into it. Let me, hold on. I got my Fenty lip gloss. Big R ain't about to catch me slipping. <laughs> Big R hadn't been on live in a while, right? So... It was right before Valentine's Day, so she talked about um, Beyonce tickets. She talked about her man. She talked about she needs to lose a little weight, classes that she could give, sewing. So we're just going to get into it. Let's go. Sometimes you be paying these people to teach you stuff, and you feel like they don't some BS. Them girls not. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And then I was like, you know, I was going to start teaching stuff like that. And then once I see the level that she always lets me on area. Girl, you ain't not about to be teaching nobody if you ain't even got it together. So she was talking about teaching classes uh, about business and how people can better sell things and stuff like that. So I'm glad she got a hold of it and she realized, you know, the lane she needs to stay in. Let's keep going. So somebody asked her, uh, is she going to the Beyonce concert? And this is what she had to say. I do not have tickets yet. So I won't say that I am not going but I heard they kind of like sold out too because then she had to like keep adding shows. She added like another one in Atlanta, another one in Houston. And yeah, unless I get a surprise Valentine's tomorrow with some Beyonce tickets, I'm gonna let y'all know, but it ain't looking <laughs> too good, y'all. Oh. <laughs> So, you know, like, she and Martell go to a lot of concerts because, you know, they went to the other one in Atlanta. So, I don't know what Martell got her for Valentine's Day or whomever. Let's keep going. And for me, like, I don't like to sit up at the top if the nose bleeds. I'm, I'm, it's for what? So, if I'm not, like, down there, like up there jumping jumping where i can record beyonce good because i got some good footage of her and jay-z and you can't tell me that jay-z and beyonce both did not look at me when i was down here but you know they look at all of them as clothes but nonetheless i feel special now if she talking about in that behalf box she she probably is gonna have to wait on y'all to post you know some information because I, I don't think she's gonna get those tickets let's keep going some days i gotta push some days i don't Depends on how much money I feed me. Because I go to the restaurants and order what I want. Stop ordering things because I'm a big mama and I do want to try stuff. And I sit there and take a couple bites and all of it and be like, mm, dessert. So, what we want to know is who is feeding big mama these days. It's your girl, Billy Chad. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>